Hey everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial. Here we're going to talk about uh, and show you how to create some um, interesting paint effects for your uh, 3D car models. Um, so for this example, I'm going to use the uh, new Volkswagen uh, GTI model that I've uh, recently uh, just finished. Um, and uh, I just want to show you guys uh, some quick examples of uh, a couple of paint effects. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests and uh, and also, if everyone just seems to really want to know how to get uh, a graphics or some sort of uh, cool paint effects to your car instead of just using a standard kind of paint option. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I got uh, two uh, two kind of uh, examples to show you. One is going to be a uh, chameleon kind of paint, uh, one that changes colors as you. Uh, as you uh, get certain angles of the car, you'll see the colors changing. And the other one's going to be just a, I'm going to show you an alpha and stri stripe layer that I'm going to add to the car so that it um, uh, it just like, kind of looks cool if you want to do like a multi-paint kind of uh, option. So anyways, let's get to it. And uh, uh, we'll start with the chameleon uh, kind of paint uh, effect. So what I'm going to do is uh, start by opening up my material editor. I'm going to go over to uh, one of these slots here and we're going to create a V-Ray material. All right, and uh, from here, actually, you know what? We're not going to create a V-Ray material. We're going to create a V-Ray car material. All right, I'm going to copy this real quick. Come over to this slot and select our paint that we have on there. Uh, I'm going to paste it here. All right, so that's going to switch. And then um, I just want to do a couple of changes here. I'm going to go to our flight size, bring that down to like 0 05. Uh, let's see, scale 0, zero 03 sounds good. Um, and uh, Let's start with our flake color. Let's bring that down to like a pale red. Come over here and um, throw this deep cherryish red kind of paint or candy apple red. It's a really nice one to go with. All right, as we rotate around the car, everything looks good. So this paint already looks wonderful as a standard. Um, but if we want to get a chameleon kind of uh, effect, what we're going to do. Let's come over to uh, these options down here in the uh, V-Ray car paint material. And if you look, uh, you can see there's a base color. And we want to change this. So we're going to click on that open slot. And uh, we're going to use the fall off. All right, and uh, you might have seen this uh, technique used in different uh, V-Ray material options. But uh, this one works really well with also the car paint material. So right now we have it on a um, our fall off type. Um, we have it on this uh, parallel kind of uh, uh, option. What we want to do is we want to change that over to towards and far away. All right. So this way, when you move your car or you move the angle around around the car, uh, you'll start to notice it's, you you start seeing the changes depending on where the camera is. Uh, and that's going to kind of sell the effect of the chameleon paint. So. Um, Let's get a more interesting color. Let's go with a, a red, and then maybe the uh, secondary color we can go with like a, an orange. Maybe a little more closer to red. Kind of like salmon. No, not really salmon, but somewhat similar to that. I might work it out. Take a look here. So as we move around, you start to see it, but you know it's not. This is not too drastic. So we, in order for us to get kind of a more drastic look here, we need to um, really kind of offset our colors. There you have it. You can see as we're moving around, uh, you're starting to see the colors change. Uh, and that really is pretty much it for this. Uh, this kind of paint. So it's, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, if it's a little bit too strong for you, you can always change this to like a Fresnel. Um, a 
for now. Um, and that that's a little bit delicate. It's a little bit more delicate, uh, depending on uh, your taste. Actually, it's it's quite nice. You can see the nice fall off here. And I'm going to sharpen up a little bit here so you guys can see that effect. Uh, so it, it, it really works well for that. Uh, I like this technique. And um, see, it's a pretty cool custom looking paint uh, for your cars. So that's one, OK? Um, the second one is the uh, alpha map. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a kind of a cool looking like racing stripe or stripe across here that, uh, that wraps around the car. It's a two-tone stripe. Not two-tone, but it's a two two stripe uh, decal. So let's get into that. Um, what I want to do is uh, go to the material editor. We're going to go to V-Ray. Um, we need a blend material. We're going to start with that. All right, that's going to be an open, an open uh, slot there that we can uh, select our, our create a base layer for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our fall off here. We're going to clear that. It's going to make it a red again here. All right, and um, let's copy this over and paste it into our base material. And then actually, what I want to do is copy this, come over here, just paste it over this. Let's discard the old material and done. So now we um, now we have the selected material here on the on the car. So now what we want to do is uh, we're going to begin to create a secondary uh, coat material. So I can do that by uh, creating another car paint material. All right, and you can see it's going to go like this kind of pale looking. Uh, purplish color. That's because they're blending these two together. Um, and that's okay right now because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a mask to cut uh, most of this off. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so if you look um, Okay, so if we uh, drag ourselves over here, we can see I've created a alpha map layer. All right, and I've created this within 3ds Max. I didn't even go to Photoshop for this, uh, and I created a black and white image, and this is the striping that I want to go on the car. So what I've done uh, ahead of this video is I've went on to the, um, the body of the uh, of this uh, of the car, and I UV mapped where I wanted the stripe to go. All right, so it's already placed in here. Um, and how I did that was I went over, create a V-Ray material, um, copy this graphic, just paste it in here. So just copy that guy instead. So, all right, and paste that there. Okay, and then uh, just gonna drag this up. And copy that, paste this as instance. So I'm just going to show you this technique really quick. So what I've done was um, I created a UV map. Uh, so I select all the body panels and all the parts that I wanted the uh, graphic to go on. And I created one UV map towards it, uh, created as a planar, took that planar, and um, just angled it so that um, I got the stripe the way I wanted it. Okay, so I grab the gizmo, rotate it. You can see I can do all kinds of all sorts of different uh, uh, decal looks. Okay, off these two stripes. All right, so you can get you, know, you can get a lot of different effects. So the one I just wanted to do was get this angle one. Uh, and that's pretty much how I did that. So that after I have this uh, set up, I can go in and um, apply this mask. And this will, when I uh, apply it to the car, it will end up just like this in this in this uh, state. Okay. So um, 
going back to our material, uh, what I want to do is uh, have our blend material here. Let's copy that again. Over here and paste it over our old uh, our, our stripe layer there. We're back to square one. So going back to our setup here, uh, what we want to do is um, we want to use our alpha map that was created in the stripes. We're going to copy this. We're going to come over to our blend material. And we're going to paste it into our blend amount. What this is going to do is give us now our two tone. Now, this is a really cool effect. Now we can uh, separate these two, and we can use we can change the stripe with this material here, our new created uh, V-ray material. All right, so we want to stay with the same around the same scale of the flags. Okay. Um, And now we can actually uh, start to play with our stripe layer here. You can see we can get different effects or different uh, color tones. And the uh, you know, sky's the limit now. Right? We can make any kind of color scheme we want. Uh, and using that alpha map, that helps us create a uh, realistic um, decals for your cars. So as you see, it's uh, pretty straightforward, nothing really to it. Uh, if you want to um, you know, adjust these settings for your for the, the rear part of the car, if you want uh, this to be a little bit more glossy, that's actually less gloss. Make it really, uh, there you go. That starts to look really cool. And you start seeing the flakes and all that. Uh, it starts to just really, uh, you know. So now you can come up here and just uh, change the, the the main color, which is your red. Um, and you can make that um, a lighter blue color. Change your flakes. Maybe the coat, the way the coat is. Uh, if you want a little bit more, a um, little bit more sharper fall off here. You start to really see some wicked effects here. So that's about it, guys, for this video. I hope that really helped you uh, see the uh, potential here of uh, what you can do with this. Um, I'm going to have some more videos on uh, creating graphics and really uh, some really advanced stuff. Uh, I'm going to make a, uh, some nice premium tutorials for that. Um, also, um, stay tuned for more uh, uh, exclusive tutorials that I'm showing here. Uh, there's a lot to, I'm very busy right now at this time, but uh, definitely I'm always uh, up to something with uh, Render Spaz. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. If you got any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to contact me in any way from the uh, website to the Facebook uh, pages at uh, www.renderspaz.com, guys. See you later.